YouTube. Uh, just wanted to make this quick video to show you uh, the my my two main acoustic guitars. Um, the first one being an Alvarez uh, model. It's an R, model number is RD8C. I figure I would also show you the tuner that I use, which is a Snark tuner, just a basic Snark tuner. Um, this one is. A little bit dim. I don't know if you can even see the the, um, the, the f interface of it, but um, that is because it's gotten old. Uh, the other thing is, it's probably I had a gig bag before I started collecting all hard shell cases. Um, I don't. I still don't have a hard shell case for this one, but uh, the other tuner I had completely snapped in half from being drugged around in a gig bag. But I figure I will play this a little for you and give you a taste of how it sounds. So first, let me tune up. It's a little flat. been a little while since I played but uh I figure I'll start you out with just something that everyone knows and then kind of finger pick and then do the same on the other guitar which is uh coming up after this one got it right down there in the case you can't see it in the shot but um yeah from just a simple E to let you hear it. played in a long time that's why I don't know exactly what kind of strings are on this one I think they're the original strings which could be anything but I want to replace the strings with Ernie Ball Earthwood uh, rock and blues acoustic guitar strings which are on the other guitar but uh, let me finger pick a little bit so you can hear that
Alice in Chains here for you. Basically, both these guitars are for the money, um, budget guitars. Um, Alvarez is, is going to be the cheaper of the two. Yeah, this Alvarez sounds very good. Uh, I love it. I just need to restring it and put what I prefer on there. It might have what I prefer on there. Um, it's just that the strings are wearing down a little bit. Um, this is an acoustic electric. Uh, you can see the, the jack on the side there. Um, definitely get yourself a snark tuner. They just go right on the headstock. And EAD GBE, that's the standard tuning. And then you can tune down to DAD GBE or CGC FAB or whatever you prefer to play in. Um, Usually you don't down tune for acoustic unless it's uh, something like ne Never Too Late by um, Three Days Grace. There's a few songs that you might need to tune down the E string, but you shouldn't have to go all the way to C uh, unless you are playing an acoustic version of like a heavy song or something. I've, I don't know. I've never had to tune down to C, to C but... Um, yeah, definitely, if you're really, really on a budget, I would try to find one of these used. Um, it's made in China. The other one's made in the USA. Let's get the next guitar out. Now we're going to look at the Martin Custom X. Play a few simple chords for you. For this part, I will be finger picking, so I won't be needing this. That just went over the rail. I'll have to walk all the way down there and get it. Thank you. 
So let me get another pick now because I tried to do that fancy thing I did in an earlier shot that I deleted when the neighbor was blowing his leaves and you couldn't hear the guitar. Let's try uh, playing one of the main songs with the pick and then I'll try and see if I can flick it into the camera. So disclaimer, uh, first off, this I also deleted the clip because the guitar was slightly out of tune. Like I said, this is an old tuner. And I didn't feel like ordering another one. Actually, what I'm going to do is first do this. Because I'm getting obsessed with flicking this directly into the camera. And I don't know that I can do it. but Oh, got it. All right. So, now that I'm getting the tab out to play it again, he will probably start blowing his leaves again. Let me get another pick and play it really quick. Sorry for the noise in the background. Now we're going to take a look at the Martin, just do a pan a shot, just looking down the guitar. And yes, the sides do have uh, learning dots. As you can see here, the learning dots are on the side. There's no inlay dots. We're going to just slowly ease the camera down the guitar. Take a nice look at the model number and the serial number. And the jack is on the side of the guitar, not on the bottom, like right in where you put the strap. There are, there, the back of the neck rather is very smooth. As you can see, 
there are learning dots on this one as well. As you can see with this one, there is inlay dots. Now obviously you can't feel something through video, but if you if you were to feel the back of the neck, you'll feel that it's very, very comfortable and very smooth. And uh, I believe that's, I don't know what uh, type of wood that is, but it's very smooth to the touch and very pleasant for when you're playing acoustic guitar. And it's laminate. If I had to guess, it's mahogany with a uh, Sitka sp spruce top like a lot of electric acoustic electric guitars but to be honest I really couldn't tell you I'd have to do more googling on this particular guitar but I can tell you that there's a gloss on the front it's not like the Martin where the Martin is just a wood grain it's it's been laminated or glossed over and This is glossed as well. I don't believe it's a laminate. I believe the whole guitar is glossed, actually. I take that back when I said. But, uh, yeah, the Regent series. It's a really, really cool guitar. I want to talk a little bit more about the Alvarez. Um, I actually didn't know a lot about this guitar. I just really liked the tone when I went to the flea market. Now, if I remember correctly, this cost, cost, this guitar cost around $200 from a, the flea market used, which is not too bad. I mean, you could get it for a, it's not a steal exactly. It's not like it was 20 or 40, but for the tone, I just had to have it. Now. Um, it does take a, it takes a, it takes a, um, it takes one of those square batteries to power it, the preamp to, uh, play, uh, electric through an, through an amp or a PA, um, to hook in to the jack with an instrument cable to the amp or, or PA system, but... And I apologize for the noise in the background. I'm trying my best to make this video, but um, I figure I'll shoot a little bit more footage of that guitar, the Overez. I learned that it's a re the Regent series Dreadnought Cutaway. Um, that's what I did got when I googled the model number. So let's take a, lo a look a little bit more of a look at that guitar. And the jack is on the side of the guitar, not on the bottom, like right in where you put the strap. So I figure I'll include this at the very end, just if you want to tune in for this or tune out. I was sitting there, I, the camera was sitting there on the tripod. I flicked it towards the camera and it went up and over the rail. So let's go see if we can find it. If you like Where's Waldo, you'll really like this. It's not over there, and I actually found it. It was a good thing I took a break because I was looking in the pot, in the other pot, and in the leaves. I thought I thought maybe it would have 
landed close because uh, I thought I was close, but really, it's right there. So it won't get ran over with the mower. So you're probably wondering who wins in this in this battle of guitar versus guitar. Well, I'll tell you what, the Martin actually does win. Uh, only because it came with the hard shell case. Uh, it still would win in general without the hard shell case. But as far as if you're on a budget, I would personally buy the Alvarez. Um, especially if you can get an even better deal on it than I did. But the Victor is the Martin for as far as the two deals that I got and the overall quality. Tune in next time for Guitar vs. Guitar.